Hello, Veteran 021 here, welcome back, and we are Let's Playing Legaia 2. In the last episode, or in between episodes, I should say, I stocked up on gold, doing the side jump minigame. Yeah, a lot of side jumping. Anyways, I decided to change my setup a little bit. Uh, what I want to do is I want to max out Feeble Jewels to start out. That way it'll be much easier to gain experience for... Um, for uh, accessories later on because I'm going to be leveling up a lot of accessories and upgrading and all that kind of stuff and uh, I decided to give it to Maya just for the simple fact that she has the turtle ability anyways and that's the best ability for her at this point in the game and uh, since this accessory right here has the unfortunate abilities of upper defense and lower defense cut uh, it kind of counteracts or it, it, it won't hurt her as bad as long as she has the barricade ring on so to help laying out with his defense, because I could equip it on him instead, uh, I'd rather just have the average jewel on him, that way he can have item increase, and uh, have the winner's jewel on him as well, that way he can start working on that. Because uh, it's a pretty good accessory, so. Anyways, there's a treasure here in Gale Canyon that I missed. I'm going to see if I can get now. Not that one. Yeah, it's actually this one over here. And yeah, that's a scroll of identity. Uh, that other chest that you just saw, I can't get anyways. And yeah, I'll show this back. Screw it. Uh -oh. oh, of course, ambushed. Great, wonderful. Yeah, these guys, they uh, they can steal from you. So as you can see, the turtle ability is very, very handy. Yeah, all I can do with Maya is defend, of course. Let's roll. Yeah, here's that gimme gimme ability they use. Yeah, they can steal pretty much any items in your inventory except for maybe save key key items perhaps. Yeah, I need to start using normal arts. Not super arts. No action points left. And yeah, every time you no kill an enemy problem. in this game, uh, bef before they run away, you can retrieve the stolen item. Alright, so yeah, that's all I needed to show off here for now, because that's the only treasure I missed, as far as I know. Alright, I think we're all set and ready to go. Let's enter Mount Gable, a brand new area. And since my characters are pretty weak at this point, I'm not going to be guarding with my. I'm going to be using heal leaves on, uh, well, actually, I don't have to do that for these guys, because these guys don't hit that hard. Uh, they're just upgraded versions of the, uh, the Bakis that we were facing Gale Canyon. Yeah, they do like to steal stuff, just like the Bakis. They do have increased attack power and HP and defense. Be nice if they didn't block my frickin' attacks. What? I didn't know these guys could call for help. Yay, so now we gotta take out another one. Oh boy. There we go. How's that? Got a spring water back. <laughs> Quit blocking my frickin' attacks. I got going. <laughs> God. Premium beef. It's what's for dinner. Uh, 
Yeah, gotta heal up. Oh uh, yeah, that path right there is blocked by a boulder that we can't break, but we will later on. We'll be able to break it later on. Here I go! Alright. Let's head on up the mountain. Here I go! Alright, we got new enemy here, Stone Be- wait, no, this isn't new. I don't know, I'm getting confused. Did I fight this guy already? I think I did. Yeah, whatever. Alright, we got another new enemy here. Flower Power. Obviously a pun, right? We're not playing a Dragon Quest game, are we? <laughs> Actually, they didn't really start doing those crazy puns, I think, until Dragon Quest VIII. That was more a level 5 thing than anything, I think. Man, those stone beasts, they're... those things hit hard, man. Holy crap. Oh, look at this. It's a cabin in the middle of the mountains. Wait a minute, where are you going, Maya? Hmm. Look at this guy. Maya? Oh, this guy knows Maya. Oh, okay. Maybe he can shed some light as to why she doesn't talk. No, I'm not a kid. I'm just 17. I think. I think he's supposed to be 17. Yeah, this character is my favorite character in the game. This character's name is Kazan, and he is awesome. He's like a monk-type character, I guess. Martial artist. He's great. He is the, uh, he is the Obi-Wan Kenobi of this game, if you will. He is the mentor of Lang. Basically. Yeah, purple clouds of shit. Not a good thing. Whoa. Nice golem you got there, man. One mystic. 
Holy crap! Apparently someone does. Yeah, we've already met this guy, this uh, mystic who has gold eyes. But what's this man's name? So yeah, we need to get the aqualift back so we can so we can keep the villagers from st from dying of thirst even though they could probably just go to Hunter's Wood and get the water from there. <laughs> I know I keep bringing that up, but I don't know, whatever. I should shut up about that. <laughs> but yeah, even though uh even though Lang has been told countless times now what a mystic is, uh, he still doesn't know what one is, which is hilarious. How many different mystics do you gotta meet in order for you to actually figure out what a mystic is, Lang? Yeah, I wouldn't say he has infinite power, but he's definitely pretty strong. Yeah, you can't just rush off. You get yourself killed. Cool, he's gonna let us stay the night. It's okay, I just washed the seats and my cooking has really improved. <laughs> so yeah, this is kind of a joke right here where Kazan's warning Maya that, hey, you know, it's not so bad living with me anymore because I, apparently, yeah, this guy's a slob. I just want to let you know that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That's kind of like the running joke throughout the game is that Kazan needs to take a bath. <laughs> Apparently bathing is uh, not part of his daily routine. One of us sleeping. Expensive pot, huh? Okay. Let's go over here and save my game real fast. As you can see, my playtime is like something like a lot, like 12 and a half hours. That's because of that side jumping mini game. But I actually haven't been going through the story that much. Believe me. Preparing for the uh, customization ahead. So yeah, this guy is awesome. I love this character. Hmm. Your mission in life. Mission is that. Oh. 
Well, at least you don't want to destroy the world. That's, you know, kind of what that gold eye guy wants to do. What's that thing? And what's that thing? Yeah, like a baby. I I don't even know what that thing is. But whatever, let's do it. All right, we're gonna be taking on a Gall Duke. I'm gonna use my super arts because uh, they have a better hit rate. And uh, I'm just gonna use heal leaves on Lang because this bastard's probably gonna attack him. And hit really hard. Alright, he's stunned. Yeah, I forgot about that. Some super arts or arts uh, actually have added effects, like you can put stun and stuff on like that on uh, on enemies randomly. So that's pretty good. So yeah, we should have no problem finishing this guy. No problem. Blasted his ass to the moon! Blind cures. Yeah, I can at least do that. Aw, he smashed up all the frickin' flowers. What a jerk. Wow, not even the origin of life can make those flowers come back. Crazy. Hmm. Apparently, yeah, it's unfortunate that one of our hosts is bad. So yeah, Lang is uh, de most definitely a mystic. He just, um, well, he doesn't have an origin yet. Uh, how do we do that? Uh, are you sure it's that simple? Stare into the very face of death? Wow. What do you want me to do? Go jump off a cliff or something? Well, yeah, I need the power, I guess. So. I wonder what happens if you choose the second choice. Oh, well. It's probably a what thou must situation.
the mountain morgue, huh? Oh. What? You're crazy. <laughs> okay, so there just so happens to be a mountain creature on the mountain that if we attack him, uh, yeah, that's... He can mop the floor with us. Okay, sure. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> um... Yeah, those are the abilities I've learned so far uh, with Lang. Uh, I don't know if those freaking accessories, they come off of her? No. That sucks. Oh well. I'm going to go ahead, rest, save my game, all that good stuff. And uh, actually, I'm just going to end the episode. That's all for this episode of the Gaia 2 Duel Saga. In the next episode, we're going to climb the mountain. To meet the mountain morgue, this is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.